Oh, wow, wow, look at here. What's going on, guys? It's Preezy Man Sports. Welcome back to another video. And the Broncos just fucking raped the Atlanta Falcons 38 to fucking 6. That's what you call belt to ass. By far, most complete game, best game of the season for Bo Nix and everyone else. Defense played lights out. At the start, it was kind of shaky because they kept letting Drake London get open because McMillan, for some reason, was always on instead of Sertan. Um. Drake London, uh, he didn't do. He did good today, obviously by that right there. But that was mainly on McMillan. Fuck it, I don't know why he was on him all the time. But Bo Nix had a great game. Fuck all the haters. They were saying, oh whoa, but Bo Nix, he can't fucking throw downfield. Oh, he sucks. He was like a third round to ass. Shut up. You know who you are. But, all right, fuck all the haters. Bo Nix, he's gonna win Rookie of the Year if he does this more often again. Fuck Jane Daniels. Fucking yak merchant. No. All right. Fuck Jane Daniels respectfully. All right. I hope I hope Bo Nix win offensive rookie of the year. He's been doing great. And by the way, Jane Daniels has a number one receiver. He has Terry McLaurin. What what number one do we have? All right. No, we don't have a number one. We have a bunch of two bunch of twos and threes. All right. Sutton's not a number one. All right. He wasn't even the best player in this game on the offense besides Bo Nix because Corlin Sutton says they got the most receiving yards. Now Marvin Mims. He was great. Punt return. He was moving around. He obviously had that terrible rush one time. I'm like, yeah, he kind of fucked around on that one. I'm going to go off on everyone. But firstly, let's go ahead. <sighs> let's get into the stats, shall we? Oh, wow. The, um, Chargers, the Chargers and Bengals are almost tied up. 7-6 Chargers. Wow. Holy crap. Um... Let's start with the Broncos. Bo Nix, 28-33, 307 yards, four touchdowns. He got sacked once. Yeah, that was the sack that he got tripped up by Mike McGlinchey on the passing play. But it didn't matter. We still got a touchdown on that right after that. So it was all good. Javante, nine carries, 59 yards. He had the touchdown. That was that was one of his best touchdowns I've seen in a minute. Like offensive line, he was going to get stopped. He was stopped by Justin Simmons, but then the offensive line, Freaking just kept pushing him and pushing him and pushing him, just pushing everyone in that secondary. Oh, crap, hold on. There you go. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, pushing him in the secondary, and they fucking got it. That's what you call a grown man up front right there. McLaughlin, four carries, 19 yard. Yeah, he didn't do much. I'll estimate didn't do anything. It was just Javante. It was really the passing attack. Receiving Corlin Sutton, seven catches, 78 yards. He had no touchdowns. Vele, four catches, 60. Yards. He's better than LJH Bondi, all right? Oh, yeah, fuck this guy. This guy, no. This guy right here, no. I don't give a shit. Four catches, 52 yards, and a touchdown. You do realize almost all of that came, basically all of that came from that long-ass touchdown when the Falcons was caught sleeping on defense. I don't give a shit. All right, fuck that guy. Fuck little Jordan Humphrey. All right, he's probably going to block me on Twitter because I mentioned him. I'm like, get off my team. Yeah, you suck. All right, fuck LJH Bondi. And I don't care what this touchdown says. 44-yard touchdown. So he means to tell me if it wasn't for that touchdown, he only had fucking eight yards. Yeah, because he sucks, all right? Fuck LJH. Get off my team. Mara Mims, two catches, 49 yards. Touchdown. Javante, four catches, 28 yards. Troy Franklin, two catches, 15 yards. He had a touchdown. Nate Atkins, his only catch was that 12-yard touchdown. It was a great foolery. Estimate three catches for nine yards. Uh, Troutman had a target, but he but it was incomplete. Burden, one catch minus two. Oh, yeah, and that fucking fumble. They're lucky that they call that a fumble. In my opinion, it wasn't a fumble, but oh, well. Oh, well, it is what it is. Look at that little Jordan. Oh, yeah, fuck out of here. McMillan led the team in tackles with nine. Um, he was kind of getting picked on the most, too. Uh, Benito, he had two sacks, nine sacks. Remember, we were trashing this guy in his rookie season, but now looking really good. He has nine sacks on the season. He's on pace for I think what 15 sacks. It would be the it would be the most we've had since Vaughn Miller in 2018, when he had 14 and a half. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be fucking awesome if this happens. Uh, Malcolm Roach had a sack. Who else? Jonah Ellis also had a sack, so that's good. Interceptions. Cody Barton had a pick, so that's his second pick of the season. Yeah, I count that Saints one. That's a pick. I don't give a shit if they say fumble. Marvin Mims, three returns, 57 yards, pretty good. Will Lutz only had one field goal, so we had light work for him. Dixon, three, only three punts, pretty good. All down in it. Uh, what's next? Let's look at Atlanta. Let's look at how bad Atlanta did, shall we? 
Uh, Kirk Cousins, 18 of 27, 173 yards. He threw one interception. That was a terrible read. Penix came in and eventually um, two two um, passes, two out of four, 24 yards. He got sacked once for no gain. That was the Benito one. Bijan Robinson, yeah, their running attack didn't do anything. Bijan Robinson, 12 carries, 35 yards. Jace McClellan got all those in garbage time. He didn't do shit. Drake May, three catches, 61 yards. All of them were on um, Jaquan McMillan for some reason. Ray Ray McLeod, six catches, 46 yards. Robinson, four catches, 28 yards. Darnell Mooney, two catches, 27 yards. Uh, Kadero Hodge, two catches, 22 yards. Kyle Pitts, one catch, nine yards. Yeah, he didn't do shit, so that was a good job by the linebacker there. Uh, fumble, yeah, Kirk Cousins, he fumbled? Yeah, he did. It was a bad snap. Caden Ellis, ah, uh, yes. Brother Jonah Ellis, 10 um, tackles. Holy shit. Uh, Jesse Bates had 10 tackles. Justin Simmons, oh, he had a tackle for loss. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. He had a tackle for loss on estimate. Um, what else? Pretty much it. Only sack was, oh, it was Judon that got the sack. He was credited on the sack from McGlinchey, so yeah, okay. It was Judon. All right, all right. Um, no sacks, punt return. They punted the ball five times. Yeesh. Imagine. I'm joking. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, pretty good game. Really nothing else to it. It's just, I'm, I'm, I did not expect this big of an ass whooping. Like, I, I picked the Falcons because history, you know, it's not like some, Guys, oh, why are you picking for history? Because it usually works, all right? It's like when we faced the Raiders and we lost to those fucking turds nine, I mean, not nine times, eight fucking times straight to them, and we fucking lost. Or the Chiefs, you know, before we won last year, we lost 16 straight. Like, I was sick of it. All right, and the Falcons, we haven't beaten them since Matt Ryan was a rookie. Well, it turns out Matt Ryan was just the kryptonite of the Broncos because... When he played the Colts, even in that Thursday night football game, worst Thursday night of all time, and he still won despite our defense completely shutting him down. It's like, bro, can't make it up. But, yeah, great game offensively and defensively, obviously. Uh, next week, it's against the Raiders. Got to beat them, obviously. They're tanking. They suck. Worst Raider team of all time since fucking, what, who was it that was their quarterback? Like, it was, like, almost, like, seven, like, eight years ago. Wait, was it eight years ago? No, not eight years ago. Uh, Ten years ago, you know, making all those shit, and they didn't do anything. They got to win. Fucking thanks a lot, Jets. The Colts won. Uh, Right now, right now, let's see. Oh, the Chargers are winning the Bengals. Good. But still, but that's still not good because Chargers can, they can still keep in front of us in the division. But the Bengals, that helped us out. The Bengals defense suck. Holy crap. Um, guy, we keep we're six and five, three and two at home. Gotta get ready for the Raiders. The rest of the schedule is kind of easy, but knowing the Broncos, you know nothing's ever easy. But thank God, you know we won this game. Bo Nix easily his best game of the season. Finally, three hundred yards, first time in forever. Um, four touchdowns. He's gonna win Offensive Rookie of the Week. He's not gonna win Offensive Player of the Week because fucking Jared Goff had five touchdowns and four over four hundred yards. That's way better than that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. And as always, go Broncos.